welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show's all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about why people who live in fear do nothing but rob themselves of time. They say time is of the essence and those who do not make the most of their time are robbed of this essential and precious gift. So why do some people use their time wisely with the fearless can-do attitude and others waste most of their time worrying? It boils down to one thing, perspective. The more we're able to coach ourselves to see fear as the motivating factor opposed to it debilitating us, the more we're able to take action despite if we are fearful. The truth is we all have worries, doubts, and fears, but those who are able to push through the fear are the ones that use their time to grow rather than staying stagnant. Make it your mission to do one thing that scares you most. Maybe that's cold calling the top companies you wanna work for, or it's taking a leap of faith on starting your own business. Whatever that fear is, use your time to get to the root of it and confront it. Chances are the results will pleasantly surprise you. As Dale Carnegie quotes, if you want to conquer fear, don't sit at home and think about it. Go out and get busy. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break. One of the main issues that I think most people have is sugar. I know for me, I have a sweet tooth. And when I do reach for that snack, it's usually something sweet. <laughs> so I think for most people, you know, that's what it is. They like sugar. So how do we curb eating too much sugar? What's your advice on that? Well, you're not alone in that. Um, sugar addiction is real. And a lot of it is because of our food system. In the mid 1970s, the average person ate 26 pounds of sugar per year. Today, we're eating over 150, which is a cup of sugar, eight ounces of sugar a day. And we don't think we're eating that much because it's hidden in all of our food. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have Audrey Sommerfeld, the founder and CEO of Jump to Health. Audrey's mission is to provide meal plans and education on eating healthy for different lifestyles and health concerns. Audrey, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing great and thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. It's our pleasure. So let's talk about your entrepreneur journey. When did it start for you? You know, it's been, that, that one's hard to say because I think I've worked in large companies, I've worked in small companies, I've been part of startups throughout my career. Um, but for me, it really was many years ago, I just wanted to really create something that was unique and different and valued people in a way that I didn't find in corporate America. So I would say it really started about eight, ten years ago. Okay. Nice. And of course, we see the Jump to Health logo in the background. Uh, talk to us about what it is and why you wanted to bring this to the market. So Jump to Health is a company that's really about transforming lives. Uh, we call it health, wealth, living, giving, helping people really live their best life. And what we wanted to do is help people with nutrition and because your first wealth is health. So we have a nutrition company, but we also wanted to provide what other companies don't, education. Um, we know that our physicians get less than eight hours of training on nutrition um, in their careers. And there's nowhere you can go to learn it. We don't teach it in schools. We don't teach people how to eat healthy. We rely on TV commercials. So we wanted to provide education to help people with nutrition with personal development, and then even expand it into financial health. So we're giving people tools to live their best life. So it was really a, a desire from our point of view to help transform lives with good nutrition, good education, and help people take back charge of their own health. Mm -hmm. And you touch base on education, and you have a background of, I think, three decades of helping people look and feel good with nutrition and skincare. So talk to us about that experience and how, how it's led you to create Jump to Health. That, that's awesome question. So yes, I've started my career in skincare and beauty care and really enjoyed helping women feel special and empowered and helping them just feel their best. And then I moved into um, a pharmaceutical company and I was like helping people manage their symptoms and I thought there's got to be a better way. And then I moved into nutrition and spent 20, 
now about 22 years in nutrition, learning about how it impacts everything. Your beauty is really from the inside. What you eat has a huge impact on your skin, on your hair, on your nails, on your mood, on your sleep. And so it was really Jump to Health was our way of combining all of that knowledge into one area. But yeah, it truly um, worked on all aspects of the human body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speaking of nutrition, you know, it's hard to, especially with lockdown and quarantine not everybody is eating healthy you know it's really easy when you're working from home to to head for that snack <laughs> so you know talk to us about the products you offer and how we can help people live a healthier lifestyle well i like what you just said yes during the <laughs> pandemic the average adult has that gained weight was about 29 pounds so we know that a lot of people were doing a lot of uh, snacking during the uh, pandemic so jump to health offers a full line of products that help people with a number of health challenges um, whether it be weight management losing weight gaining weight maintaining weight uh, digestive health um, he healthy mood healthy sleep um, blood sugar support. We do this without stimulants and without a lot of caffeine. So when we created the product line, we wanted it to be a natural product that tasted good, that was affordable, that could help address these health issues. Our big hairy goal is to end obesity and all health challenges that can be improved with nutrition. So Jump to Health has products um, we have meal replacement shakes. We have supplements to fill those nutritional gaps that most people have. And um, we have products for digestive health. I mean, through, you know, 750,000 emergency visits a year are due to digestive disorders. So we really have products for that. Blood sugar management. Almost one in three people right now are either diabetic or pre-diabetic. And all of these uh, areas of health challenges can be improved with good nutrition and Jump has products for all of those. Mm -hmm. And I know you also offer meal plans and you know people working from home, people with kids, most people even if they're working from home they're really busy to cook. So uh, talk to us about the meal plans that you do offer for busy people. Well we do offer a wide variety of meal plans. One of the things we wanted to do was be all lifestyles. So if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, we have meal plans. A diabetic, blood sugar concern, we have meal plans. A keto, which is all the rage, we have meal plans. And then our simple power too, which is two shakes a day to melt the pounds away, one shake a day to help keep the fat away. We have these meal plans. And in there, what we do with our health journey, we provide 12 weeks of education for free um, to our members and they get meal plan tips. We have recipes, uh, all kinds of ways to make fast and healthy meals. And again, as you said, it's gotta be simple. Um, we all live very busy lives. And so all of our meal plans are simple, fast and easy to do. You don't have to be a big chef and um, we'll help provide that for you. We also have shopping lists. We have um, a lot of information to help make it easy to get back on track. Mm -hmm. And you know, one of the main issues that I think most people have is sugar. I know for me, I have a sweet tooth. And when I do reach for that snack, it's usually something sweet. <laughs> so I think for <laughs> most people, you know, that's what it is. They like sugar. So how do we curb eating too much sugar? What, what, what's your advice on that? Well, you're not alone in that. Um, sugar addiction is real. And a lot of it is because of our food system. In the mid 1970s, the average person ate 26 pounds of sugar per year. Today, we're eating over 150, which is a cup of sugar, eight ounces of sugar a day. And we don't think we're eating that much because it's hidden in all of our food. There's a lot of different names for sugar. And so, um, the first thing we do is we teach people to to look at a nutrition label and if you see sugar or the different kinds of sugar in the first four ingredients don't eat it uh, because that's going to disrupt your gut bacteria it's going to blood sugar spike you it's going to make you more tired um, so we help people understand the types of sugar, the sources, and what to look for in that product. Now, when you try and back off of sugar, we can help. One of the tips we say is fiber. Who knew that fiber uh, can help slow the absorption of sugar in your body? So we have a fiber product. We tell people if you're gonna drink juice, put it in your juice. It's gonna negate some of those effects. But we really do provide that 
education to help people wean off of those sugars and start to figure out that once you do, you're going to be amazed at how sweet things are. But there's sugar in everything. Yogurt can be like eating six to eight donuts. Um, ketchup can be 30, 40% sugar. So it's really about educating people and helping them make better decisions. Mm -hmm. I completely agree. You know, a lot of people don't read the labels. That's the first thing I do is I always read the labels before I buy it. And if there are ingredients that I have not heard of, <laughs> I just skip it out. And I also think with sugar, you know, sometimes pe people get addicted to sugar at such a young age. Even my, my niece, <laughs> she eats so healthy, but sugar is one of those things that that's her weakness. So I think, I think it's definitely, um, you know, just kind of changing your mindset on eating healthier. I want to talk about the title, Jump to Health, your, your brand. Why did you call it that? Well, you know, when we think about going into a new adventure, it's called jumping in with both feet, right? And you've jumped for joy. So we wanted to have a word that said you literally can transform your health and jump to health quickly, easily, um, and affordably. And so we wanted to show that. Uh, and then we wanted to talk about health in the first thing we deliver, because that is what we are focused on first and primarily your health, and then we help with other ways at our WAP to Give program, Living Giving, we have perks for our members, um, they can save on travel, all kinds of benefits just for being part of our company, but it really is about jumping for joy, for health, and having that healthy natural energy. Mm -hmm. And on your website, you talk about inner fit, so what does that mean? So truly, what I've learned through my 30-year career is that everything starts on the inside. If you're not fit on the inside, it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside. So we focus on your inner fit. We help you balance those gut bacteria so that you can lose weight or have better sleep. I mean, 95% of your serotonin is in your gut. So we help with that. We help with cellular health. We, we know that that average person's getting one serving of fruit per day, typically orange juice, high sugar. So we help balance the cellular health, uh, which provides your ATP. It really fuels your entire body. So when you get healthy on the inside, better blood sugar, better blood pressure, better cholesterol. Guess what? You show it on the outside with vibrant beauty and health and energy. So it really is about inner fitness. And then with all that education, we're helping you uh, transform every aspect of your inside, uh, your confidence, your ability to communicate with others with all of the training and tools that we provide for free um, just for being part of our family. Mm -hmm. And what I like about these products as well is that they actually have, you know, scientific and an educational background with, I know that you paired up with uh, Dr. Steve Witherly, a PhD nutritionist for over 30 years. So talk to us about how his experience kind of have helped to create these products. Yeah, so Dr. Steve Witherly, his wife Carolyn, they are amazing to work with. So we wanted to truly be based on science. And um, we didn't, a lot of companies out there promise a lot of fast weight loss and they use a lot of stimulants and caffeine and we didn't want to do that because that's not long-term health. So Dr. Steve is great because he knows how every ingredient works in your body. So when we put these ingredients together, we know why they're in there, what the purpose of each ingredient is and how it will help transform or improve your health. Um, Dr. Steve is awesome because he started his career studying keto 30 years ago. Mm. Um, he's worked with um, leading researchers. He studied with a cancer researcher. So we know nutrition, how it works in your body. We know ingredients, what they do in your body. And he brings the science. Carolyn brings the flavor. I bring the consumer aspect. So we really do deliver the benefits people are looking for in a healthy way based on science, based on nutrition, and none of that artificial stuff. Mm -hmm. I love that it has a scientific background because there are so many products out there and you really don't know what they do or what the ingredients are. So I love that it does have that scientific uh, background. I wanna go back to some of the products that you offer. Let's talk about the top five products and what they are and what they do. 
Awesome. Yeah, so we have two meal replacement or protein shakes. We know that one out of two households use protein shakes, but what they don't teach you is not all protein is created equal. So we have our core shake. It is whey-based. It is gluten-free, lactose-free, and our V-Pro plant-based shake. And they both taste like cake, and we've trademarked that, the shake that tastes like cake. So if you're looking to have a fast meal, you're looking to have a protein in your diet. If you want to find a protein shake that you can use for making pancakes and muffins, we've got it. Um, next up is our Ignite product. Ignite is uh, tastes like ice cream and water. It goes into coffee and what it does is it helps curb hunger, it boosts your mood, and it helps your body burn fat, especially stubborn bad, um, belly fat. But there's no stimulants in it, no caffeine. So it's really great uh, way to intermittent fast if that's what you choose to do, um, or just really help your body and your brain with great medium chain triglycerides or healthy fats. Um, we have our fruit and vegetable capsules. We know that the average person, as I said earlier, gets one serving of fruit per day. Uh, our most consumed vegetables, french fries and ketchup. So we know that people aren't eating healthy. We encourage that, our recipes encourage that, but you fill those nutritional gaps and people find they feel better in as little as three days because your body, your, your gut's getting those polyphenols and phytonutrients that you need for good health. Um, and then I would say it's probably our Accelerate, a healthy energy drink for your body and your brain. Most energy drinks are nothing more than high caffeine, taurine, which is a great amino acid, but can make you feel jittery and wired and sugar. Ours is not. You can mix it in water, lemonade, iced tea, and it has nutrients in there that help boost focus, boost your mood, and help you have better exercise performance. So lot less money too um, for our products. So those are, I would say, our top five is our, our, our shakes, our protein shakes, our Ignite fruit and veggie caps, and our, our Accelerate. Mm. You had me at cake when you said the shake tasted like cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm in. I hope you send me some products because they I all- I will, I send you everything. <laughs> it, it, yeah, when I was scrolling through your website, I didn't even know which one to pick. They all sound really, really good. So I'm, I'm gonna follow up on that about getting some products. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about, you know, you're also giving back with your company, which I love. I think that's so important in the success of any company. So let's talk about Walk to Give and what is it? So we created our Walk to Give program for a number of reasons. One, we know people want to help each other and during the pandemic maybe didn't have funds to donate or we couldn't donate time, we couldn't leave our houses. And we also know that most people are not active. We've all heard sitting is the new smoking. So we wanted to encourage people to get active and even walk with their family and come back and find a way to give back. And so our Walk to Give program is pretty simple. You're a member of Jump, you're getting some of our products, and then you go on a walk and you record your steps on your phone, on your Fitbit, however you want. You upload them into our system and you can accumulate steps and those steps accumulate to donations to Feeding America. So I love it because you can go for a walk, come home, check your steps and know that you're making a difference through our partnership with Feeding America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fantastic. I want to ask you, you know, some people say it's 10,000 steps. How many steps are you supposed to take uh, in order to have optimal health? Everything I've read, it's now they're saying 7,500 to 10,000. Um, we do and try and encourage 7,500 to 10,000 a day if you can um, do that. Uh, and we're finding that with Walk to Give, we've encouraged people to up that. We've got people walking 20, 24,000 steps a day because they're so committed to Walk wow. to Give. So, but yeah, 7,500 to 10,000 is the optimal amount. That's amazing, and I love that you're walking. Not only are you staying healthy, but you can also give back with your program, so I think that's amazing. I wanna talk a little bit about you. With three decades of experience and being in this industry, I wanna talk a little bit about you um, and your background. You know, I know that you talked about how mentors played a big part in your success. So I wanna talk about who were your mentors and what did they teach you? So uh, mentors are amazing. So my first mentors were my high school teachers. I grew up in a very tiny town in Minnesota and did not know, um, was not encouraged to go beyond that, to go to college or anything. My family didn't believe in it. And my high school teachers really encouraged me 
to pursue my dreams and go to college and and really explore the world. Then during my career, I've had uh, well, my friend Myra, I um, love Myra. Uh, when we were going to graduate school, Myra said, Audrey, dream big, get big. Dream small, get small. And so she encouraged me to apply to only the top business schools. I didn't think I would get in and she was like pushed me and I got in. And that's really where I began my career. And then during my career, so many mentors, um, my husband who allows me to dream and dream big, um, not allows, but encourages me. Um, Anna Marie, my first boss, who just really pushed me to be even better than I thought I could be. Uh, Janice Jackson, a friend of mine who's believed in me. So many people. And what I just want to encourage people is one person can make such a difference. And each of those one people, Mr. Richards in high school, Myra in graduate school, my first bosses, you know, these people all made such a difference in my life. And I wish I could name them all. Mm -hmm. I think that that's great and it's so true. Mentors are so important. Everyone remembers that one person that encouraged them or it's just the encouragement sometimes to, and that gives you the fuel to, you know, go after your dreams. So I, I love that. You know, I want to talk as a, as a female entrepreneur, I'm sure as just an entrepreneur in general, there are so many challenges to create a company. So what kind of challenges did you face when creating Jump to Health? Because you have so many products. It's such a extensive company. So what kind of challenges did you have when you first started it? Because of course, now you're very successful. Well, you know, it's, <laughs> It's always a learning curve um, that we go through. As a female entrepreneur, I'd say the hardest part has been being taken seriously. Unfortunately, we still do have gender bias uh, mm -hmm. in the business world. Um, I've grown up with it though. Um, but I think the hardest challenges have really been th that entrepreneurial journey. Uh, staying motivated, staying focused every single day, knowing that there's a lot of hard work to build a company and it takes time. There's no such thing as an overnight success and you're going to have those big days and those little days and those days of doubt and fear and it's really been about overcoming those. Now for our, our company, um, we had big hairy goals and so our product line for a small startup was large and finding that manufacturing partner and the quality uh, team that would work with us and grow with us was critical to our success and so we're really proud of that and the manufacturers in Canada by the way so we're very excited for that um, with our partnership there um, so yeah it's been about finding the right team the right people the right mission and really just keeping focused on that mm -hmm. and what advice do you have for you know some entrepreneurs out there that want to take that next step but maybe are afraid or hesitant or you know success is never guaranteed in any anything you do well i mean it's a mentality thing but it's, it's not always guaranteed so what advice would you have for someone that wants to take that jump and create their own business like you have so my biggest advice is don't let fear hold you back. We're afraid of success and we're afraid of failure. And so many people do nothing because they're afraid they will succeed or they won't succeed. Um, and they're, they're afraid to try. And what I say is fear is really, it's an illusion because you're not ever failing, you're learning. Um, when you look at Thomas Edison, he says he didn't fail 1,000 times, he learned 1,000 times. So my biggest advice is do it, jump into it and go for your dreams because you have one life to live. And we all want to know that we made a difference, that we were valued, that we were heard and that we were loved. And the best way to do that is to be true to yourself, to your mission, to your dreams and just go for it and realize you're going to fail but call it learning and it opens you up to really try. And so that, that's my biggest advice is don't be afraid to fail. Uh, be afraid to do nothing. Mm -hmm. Audrey, you tied perfectly into my intro this morning about basically fear only robs us of time that we could have used to make things happen. So it's such a synergistic thing that you said that because it ties in perfectly. So thank you for, <laughs> for adding to that. Last but not least, for our viewers that want to purchase your products, uh, where can they find out more information and uh, purchase your products online? So you can go to www.jumptohealth.com uh, you can see the products there. We've got videos on Walk to Give. We've got videos on Inner Fitness. 
uh, on different pages. Um, there's a coupon right now. You can try the product, get $10 off at jumptohealth.com. And if you want to dig into the products and the ingredients, the fact sheet, why the ingredients are there and what they do, everything's right there, nothing hidden. So please take a look. We love people who go and learn more. Fantastic. We will add that promo code so our viewers can also purchase your products. But Audrey, thank you so much for being on the show today. You're such a, such a breath of fresh air and it's, <laughs> it's been really, really nice speaking to you. So thank you for being on the show and we hope to have you soon. <laughs> thank you, Daryl. Very nice to see you. Thank nice you. To you too. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.